Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is lecture number 4 and today we will study characteristics of switch. As we know that all power electronic devices act as switches. So you must know the characteristic of a switch. In electrical world, a switch is an electrical component that can connect or disconnect conducting path in the electrical circuit. It helps to interrupt electric current or it helps to divert electric current from one conductor to another. First we will study ideal switch in on and off state. During on state, switch connects the conducting path in electric circuit. On state voltage drop across a ideal switch that is V on is zero. And on state current has limits from minus infinity to plus infinity. It means ideal switch is able to withstand infinite current. We can say that an ideal switch is able to withstand infinite current with zero drop across it. Now second, during off state, switch disconnects the conducting path in electrical circuit. Current through ideal switch during off state is zero. Or we can say that I off is equals to zero. The voltage drop in off state has limits from minus infinity to plus infinity. It means ideal switch in off state is able to withstand infinite voltage. We can say that an ideal switch is able to withstand infinite voltage in on state with zero current flowing through it. Waveform shows that during on state current is finite and voltage drop is zero. While here in off state the current is zero and voltage drop is finite. An ideal switch has turn on and turn off time is equals to zero. It means its transition from on state to off state is very fast or we can say without a delay. Losses in these switches are equals to zero because losses are equals to product of voltage and current. Here we get product of voltage current equals to zero throughout the time axis. That's why we can say that switching losses and power losses in the ideal switch are zero. Now we will analyze practical switch in on and off state. During on state there is very small drop across practical switch. So V on is not equals to zero. A practical switch is able to withstand current within limit I min and I max. We can say that a practical switch has a small voltage drop in on state and it is able to withstand high current. During off state, a very small current flows through the switch. So, I off is not equals to zero. It is able to withstand voltage within limit V min and V max during off state. Or we can say that practical switch has high voltage drop in off state and it carries small current. Here for the switch, turn on and turn off times are not equals to zero. Or we can say that switching time is not equals to zero. It takes time T on to go from off state to on state. And it takes time T off to go from on state to off state. Here we can see that in waveform during on state, it carries finite current. And it has very small voltage drop across it while in off state it carries very small current and it has finite voltage ac drop across it. Here we get power losses that is product of both voltage and current. Here power losses are very small because this voltage drop is very small. And here power losses are also small because this current is very small. But during turn off period, 
this current and voltage both are considerable that's why my power losses are considerable and similarly during on stage on time this current and voltage both are considerable that's why my switching losses are considerable during this on period now we will see the procedure to find the losses. Conduction losses is equals to voltage into current. Switching losses during turn on. To calculate this we have to multiply the current and voltage equation during turn on. When there is transition from off to on state, that is off state and this is on state. So this is transition from off to on state. During this transition, during turn on time, the current increases linearly while the voltage decreases linearly. So we can write the equation of current as I by T on into T. How we can write this equation? We know that the equation of a straight line is equals to Y is equals to MX plus C. Here M is the slope and we can write the slope as this is Y that is equals to M into X. Here X is equals to T and what is M? M is the slope. Slope is equals to perpendicular upon base. Here perpendicular is I and here base is T on. Now why base is T on? Because we take this red dotted line is reference vertical axis. So that's why this base is T on. So slope will be I by T on and plus C. Here C is the Y intercept and when we take this axis as reference axis then this Y intercept will be equals to zero. Now similarly we can write the equation for voltage. Now this is the straight line that represents the equation of voltage during turn on time. So here we can see that y is equals to vt and slope here slope is negative. So what is my slope? Slope is perpendicular upon base. Here perpendicular is equals to V. And what is base? Base is nothing but it is turn on time T on. So slope can be written as minus V by T on into T. And what is Y intercept? This is Y intercept. Why this is Y intercept? Because this red dotted line is my reference axis. So that's why this y intercept C is equals to V. Now to get the power loss in unit turn on, we have to simply multiply this current and voltage equation. On multiplying these two equations, we get Vi by T on into minus T square by T on plus T. Now energy losses. Energy losses are equals to 0 to T on PDT. Why 0 to T on? Because we take this red dotted line as my vertical reference axis. So on integration we get energy losses during turn on is equals to Vi by 6 into T on. Now we will find the switching losses during turn off. When there is transition from on to off state, then current decreases linearly while the voltage increases linearly. For this, we take this green line as a reference vertical axis. So we write the voltage and current equation similarly as it was written in previous slide. So voltage equation will be equals to V by T of into T and current equation will be equals to minus I by T of into T plus I. So power losses during turn off will be equals to multiplication of these current and voltage equations. That will be equals to V by T of into T 
and multiply it with minus i by t of into t plus i energy losses during off state will be equals to integration 0 to t of p g t here p is p of it means power losses during off state on integration we get again v i by 6 into t of so total switching energy and power losses total energy losses will be equals to energy losses during on state plus energy losses during off state on adding we get v i by 6 t on plus v i by 6 t off to get the power losses p we have to simply divide this total energy losses with time t and we know that frequency is equals to 1 upon t so we can write the total power losses as f dot e here there is no need to remember all these formulas only you sh must know the procedure to calculate the energy losses and power losses during switching so this is all about this video i hope you like this video jai shiaram if you got the knowledge and concepts from this video then please like the video and subscribe the channel you can give your views and ask any questions related to this topic in comment box also share this video with your friends because sharing is caring don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my upcoming videos. Thank you.